And now notice something extremely important. This file is actually in three different folders at the same time. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. And today we're going to be taking a look at a certain feature in Resolve that can simply be explained as the ability to have the same file in two folders, which is simply a fancy way of describing tags. Now, here's the deal. Uh, sometimes you're working on a large project with a lot of files that were shot on multiple days in different locations. You need to sort through all these files and find certain footage, for example. Many times, the, the quality of your final edit will be highly dependent on your ability to locate the correct footage fast. For example, let's take a look at this project here. We have a lot of files and we need to sort through these files. So what I notice is that a lot of beginners, so people who use Resolve for the first time do, is to simply create folders. So for example, they'll right click here, add a new bin and call this coffee. And they'll find this shot, for example, with coffee in it. So they'll drag it to this folder and they'll just keep on doing the same for all the different shots that contain coffee. So this one, and for example, if there's an interior shot, they'll just right click here, create a new bin, call it, for example, interior or hand. And if there is a shot that has a hand in it, like this one, for example, they will just drag it to this folder. However, take a look at this shot now. Now, this shot is kind of unique because it's not unique at all, but I mean, in, in the context of what we're discussing here, note that we have hands visible in this shot and we have coffee. So where should this shot be saved? Should we drag it to the coffee folder or should we drag it to the hands folder? Clearly, you will only be able to drag the shot to one of the folders. However, there is this particular feature in Resolve that allows you to create something called a smart bin or in other words, a smart folder where the same shot can be in multiple folders at the same time based on its tags. In order to understand how this works, let's first take a look at the tagging system. Usually the tagging system in Resolve is done in the media page. However, I'm sure that a lot of beginners don't feel comfortable using the media page. So we'll do everything in the edit tab. So now I'll double click on a clip. So notice that this clip that is called 1.mp4 is actually saved here. And on the top right here, I will click on the metadata window. So I just opened the metadata. The word metadata simply refers to extra information that is attached to a File. So a file has a file name, an extension, and a lot of information. And you can also attach extra information to this file. So this window is where we manage the extra information attached to files. So for example, notice here that on the top left of the metadata window, we have the file name. So here we have 1.mp4, which matches the file name. So all the metadata here belongs to this file. And metadata is not simply this information here. Note that we have this icon to the top right. If I click it, we can open different types of metadata windows. So we have shot and scene where we have information about, you guessed it, shot and scene, audio, audio track, and many other information. However, what we're interested here is the shot and scene section. I'll click it. And here we have something called keywords. Note this keywords part. This is the part we're interested in. This is where you can add keywords that define this particular shot. As I promised you, we will be working from the uh, edit tab, not the media tab. So there is a small thing or like a pitfall that you need to uh, be aware of. I will drag this file called 9.mp4 to the timeline. So note that on the timeline here, we have this file. It's 9.mp4. That's pretty simple. Then I will double click this file called 4.mp4 to load it into the source monitor. Now note that the metadata here belongs to the currently selected file. So note that once I start playing and this file is selected because I clicked on it or because of a certain setting that make you select this file, note that to the top left, it says here 9.mp4. So all the metadata here now belongs to this file on the timeline and not the file that is loaded into the source monitor. However, if I double click here to load file number four or select it, the name on the top here changed to 4.mp4. So now the metadata here belongs to this file, not the file on the timeline. This is extremely important as what happened is uh, sometimes you'll add a lot of metadata because you see a certain file in front of you and you'll discover later that you added the information to a different file. So uh, just keep this in mind. 
Speaking of Resolve, if you're a beginner and you're interested in learning how to use Resolve, you'll love our free crash course that will teach you the basics of every tab in Resolve. Simply go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for free. So I'll just delete this file from the timeline for now to make things simpler and let's start adding keywords. So for example, let's load this file and let's start adding keywords. So I'll click here and the first thing you'll notice is that we have a window in the background. So I will just type window. Next, this shot has a plant. So we'll just type the word plant and hit enter. And notice that now the keywords in the metadata for this file 15 has the word window and plant. And this is how you simply add metadata to your files. So for example, let's double click on this one and let's add the word bed, hit enter and door. Let's select the word door here and interior. So I will select the word interior. And this is simply how you add metadata to your files. Now, the question here is how to find the files that have a certain keyword. Now, there are two ways here, a simple way and a slightly more complex way, but that will prove extremely beneficial or it, it, it will just make your life extremely easy when you start working. The easy way is pretty simple. You have the smart bin section to the bottom left here. I'll expand it. And here you have collections and keywords. If I expand keywords, I can find all the keywords or all the metadata tags that I added to my files here. I added some extra stuff earlier. So for example, this is window that I just added. So if I click here, I can see all the clips that are tagged with window. And here, if I click on plant, I have the clip that is tagged with the word plant. So let's go and tag more clips to make this a bit more clear. So for example, this clip here has hands and it has coffee. This one also has hand, coffee and book. And for example, let's find this one. This has the word coffee, for example. By the way, this one also has a book in it. So we can just type the word book here and add the book tag. And now notice something extremely important. This file is actually in three different folders at the same time. So if I click on hand here, notice that this file is in the folder that is called hand. Then if I click on book, for example, note that the same file is in the folder called book. And finally, if I click on coffee, for example, where did coffee go? Yes, coffee. It's actually in the folder that is called coffee. And you can see how powerful that can be. So the same file is in three different folders at the same time without you needing to create multiple copies of the same file. Um, this will make your life much easier, but it gets even better. So in Resolve, you can create smart folders. So folders that are based on rules. For example, you can tell Resolve, create a folder that shows me all the files that have the word hand and the word book. Doing that is pretty simple. I'll right click here and click on add a smart bin. And for example, let's call this hand and book. So remember that earlier when we opened this drop down menu in Resolve and we had different uh, windows that contain different metadata. The first field here, Resolve is asking you in which window should I look? And remember this keyword section, you see this keyword section that we're adding is in the shot and scene window, which simply means that here I have to select shot and scene because I'm telling Resolve to search in shot and scene. Then it should search in keywords. So here notice that we have description, comments, keywords, and people. We'll simply click here and look for keywords. So I'll just simply add keywords here. And here we have the search criteria. So these are simply search operators. So for example, I will select matches all. So here we're telling Resolve to look for all the files where the conditions of the file matches all of whatever we type here. So for example, we can type hand, comma, coffee. Notice that matches all refers to it will match all whatever is typed here. So it will match hand, comma, comma means and coffee. So hand and coffee. And I'm simply going to hit OK. And here we have a new folder created that's called hand and book. So whenever I click here, Resolve will show me all the files that contain both hand and coffee. Let's add a new one. So for example, I'll simply come here, move to some folder that has the word hand, for example. So this clip here has hands but no coffee. So I will type here hand and book. This one has a book. And let's now move to hand and book and the file 19 did not appear here. Notice that we have file 15 and 17, but not 19. Why? Because we simply told Resolve that in order for a file to appear in this folder, it must match all the conditions. So it must contain the word hand 
and the word coffee, or was it book? I can't remember, but I think it was hand and coffee. We'll check now, but it should match all the keywords that we added. However, you can also tell Resolve to match one of the keywords, uh, but that I think will be a bit more rare. So here, let's go to a different file now uh, that contains both hand and book. So I think I made a mistake. Right click, edit. So we're editing the smart folder. I called it hand and book. However, here it's actually hand and coffee. Of course, I had to make this mistake. So I will simply type here hand and coffee. I'll change its name and hit OK. And now let's go find uh, a couple of more clips that have hands and coffee. So for example, this one. So I'll simply type here hand and coffee. And now if I move to this folder, note that this clip was added to this collection because it has the keywords hand and coffee. And this will make your life unbelievably easier. If you go through your files and spend the time, it will take some time, frankly, unless you have an assistant editor to do that. But if you're working alone, uh, for the most part, you will be uh, doing this manually. It might take some time, but once you do all the tagging, you'll find that first, the editing process is much, much faster. And the edit, in most cases, is way better. It's much higher quality, just because you can locate all the files that you're looking for with a simple click of a button. So if you're looking for all the files that have interior with the coffee and uh, for example, with the door open, whatever, you can simply create a search term that will find all of the files for you with a click of a button. Uh, and this is simply how it works. Of course, there's a lot more to it, but um, I mean, for a beginner, if you're watching this video and you watch this far, you most probably, this is the first time you're taking a look at this system. Uh, and I hope it, this was helpful. And as usual, uh, if this was helpful, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our DaVinci Resolve Crash Course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com